Elon Musk, the maverick titan of industry, has once again captured the world's attention with a bold declaration, a declaration that promises to rewrite the rules of travel as we know them. Hydrogen is an energy storage mechanism. If you're going to pick an energy storage mechanism, you should just pick run a fuel cell. It's important that we accelerate the transition to sustainable energy, that's why electric cars matter, whether electric cars happen sooner or later. But this time, it's not about rockets or electric cars. No, this time Elon Musk has set his sights on something even more bold, more daring, and more revolutionary. What surprising news did Elon Musk reveal, and how will this news change the electric car industry? Join us on this captivating adventure as Elon Musk goes public with the all-new water engine, Elon Musk's model shift, Elon Musk, a visionary entrepreneur and innovator, is renowned for pushing the boundaries of technological advancements with a relentless drive to revolutionize various industries. Musk has spearheaded groundbreaking projects that have reshaped our perception of what's possible, from electric vehicles and renewable energy to space exploration and neural interfaces. Musk's ventures have consistently challenged conventional thinking and accelerated the pace of innovation. His commitment to pushing the envelope in technology has earned him a reputation as one of the most influential figures in the modern era, continually inspiring others to dream big and reach for the stars. Elon Musk, CEO of Tesla, has been outspokenly critical of hydrogen fuel cells, describing them as mind-bogglingly stupid and using terms like fool cells and rubbish to express his disdain. He even told Tesla's shareholders in a past annual meeting that success with hydrogen fuel cells is unlikely. However, Elon Musk surprised his followers on X with a major announcement regarding Tesla's future direction. After facing doubts for years, Musk declared that starting in 2024, Tesla would shift from using batteries and instead focus on hydrogen power. This unexpected change gained attention when Musk unveiled that the first vehicle to utilize this new fuel source would be named the Model H. The decision was shocking, especially considering Musk's previous criticism of hydrogen fuel cells. However, he has now completely reversed his viewpoint. This shift in strategy is attributed to the challenges involved in mass producing the 4,600 kW battery. This hurdle prompted Tesla to reassess its approach and embrace hydrogen power. Since its founding in 2003, Tesla, led by Elon Musk, has emerged as a global leader in electric vehicles. Musk's vision is not just about making cars, it's about transforming how we live and care for our planet. Tesla isn't just about cars, it's about changing the way we think about energy, fuel, and climate change. Elon Musk is dedicated to improving our quality of life while also protecting the environment. He's not just talking the talk, he's walking the walk by investing in eco-friendly projects and using his influence to advocate for change. As more people recognize the importance of cleaner energy to tackle climate change, electric vehicles are becoming increasingly popular, and Tesla, under Musk's guidance, is leading the charge toward a greener future. How do hydrogen cars work? Unlocking the power of hydrogen, hydrogen cars share many similarities with electric vehicles because both are ultimately driven by electric motors. However, there's a key difference in how they get their power. Electric cars, or EVs, draw their energy from the grid and store it in lithium-ion batteries. On the other hand, hydrogen cars generate their fuel as they move using what's called a hydrogen fuel cell. It's essential to understand that hydrogen itself isn't a direct source of energy like gasoline or electricity. Instead, it's more like a carrier of energy, most of the hydrogen on Earth is trapped in water, so special processes like steam reformation and electrolysis are needed to extract it. Hydrogen is very light both in its gaseous and liquid forms. To make it practical for use in vehicles, it needs to be compressed to high pressures. Additionally, hydrogen is highly flammable and must be stored carefully in tanks built to withstand high pressure to prevent leaks. Inside the fuel cell, a process called reverse electrolysis occurs. The fuel cell has three main components, the anode, the cathode, and a membrane in between called the electrolyte. When hydrogen molecules come into contact with the anode, a chemical reaction happens, splitting the hydrogen into positively charged ions and electrons. The membrane allows only the positively charged ions to pass through to the cathode, while the electrons are forced to travel through an external circuit, creating an electric current. This current powers the electric motor of the car. At the cathode, the hydrogen ions combine with oxygen from the air, forming water as the only byproduct which is then released as steam or vapor through the vehicle's exhaust. 
Elon Musk explained that since a single fuel cell doesn't provide enough electricity to power the entire vehicle, multiple fuel cells are stacked together in series to meet the energy demands. This complex process ensures that hydrogen cars can operate efficiently and sustainably, with water as the only emission. Some hydrogen cars have an extra battery on board. This battery can save up extra electricity generated when you brake, helping the car go even farther. What makes hydrogen cars exciting is how far they can go on a full tank, which is almost as far as regular cars that use gasoline. Elon Musk believes that Model H would go 500 kilometers before needing a refill. Electric car makers say they can match this distance, but it depends on how much energy their cars use for other things. Using hydrogen also creates very few harmful substances, making it good for the environment. But there's a catch. We need to use clean, renewable energy to make high hydrogen through a process called electrolysis. This is similar to how electric cars work, needing clean energy to charge their batteries. Driving into the future, fuel cell electric vehicles offer more than just environmental benefits, they bring unique advantages to the driving experience. One noticeable perk is their silent operation. Unlike traditional cars that make mechanical noises, this quietness adds to the peacefulness of driving. Another significant difference is in charging time. While battery electric cars can take hours to fully charge, hydrogen fuel cell cars are ready to go almost instantly once their hydrogen tanks are filled. This quick refueling, combined with the high energy output of hydrogen tanks, gives fuel cell cars a longer range compared to electric ones. Tesla's Model H will feature this innovative hydrogen fuel technology. This vehicle promises impressive specs, including an astonishing 0 to 60 miles per hour acceleration in just 1.2 seconds and a range of 450 kilometers. Elon Musk also revealed that the Model H boasts a sophisticated powertrain with six electric motors dynamically distributing power to enhance performance, traction, and stability. Its sleek design incorporates aerodynamic features like a full-length floor diffuser for improved downforce and front vents with concealed flaps for versatile airflow management. Although hydrogen fuel cars currently cost more due to their rarity and limited refueling stations, industry experts anticipate changes in the next decade. With the increasing urgency to combat climate change, more car companies are embracing cleaner technologies like hydrogen fuel cells. In the automotive world, there's a buzz about upcoming supercars like the Model 2 and Model Z, set to hit the roads in 2050 and 2057. These models are expected to be powered by hydrogen fuel cells, marking a significant shift in the industry's focus. Despite Elon stirring up controversies by openly sharing his doubts about using hydrogen as fuel for vehicles, not everyone agrees with his viewpoint. In the world of electric vehicles, opinions diverge on the potential of hydrogen fuel cells versus traditional batteries. Big players like Toyota and Hyundai have heavily invested in hydrogen fuel cell vehicles, joined by smaller manufacturers like River Simple, all actively working on hydrogen-powered cars. This difference in opinion isn't confined to manufacturers. Surprisingly, figures like Herbert Dias, CEO of Volkswagen Group, have also raised doubts about hydrogen's suitability for cars. Dias argues that while green hydrogen made from renewable sources is better suited for heavy industries, it's too costly, inefficient, slow, and logistically complex for vehicles. Hydrogen cars are generally viewed as safe as regular cars, the high-pressure tanks they use are built to withstand even the most severe crashes without leaking or braking. Despite concerns raised by some about the safety of hydrogen, hydrogen cars have a strong safety record. Even in extreme accidents, the hydrogen tanks and associated hardware are likely to remain intact. To date, there have been no reports of injuries or deaths specifically linked to the hydrogen components in the relatively few hydrogen cars that have been sold. Hydrogen fuel cell vehicles share some great qualities with battery electric cars, they're smooth, quiet, and eco-friendly, emitting only water vapor instead of harmful exhaust. Plus, they don't have the long charging times that electric vehicles do, it only takes about 5 minutes to refuel a hydrogen fuel cell. Revolution, hydrogen is making strides in the commercial market, with over 23,000 forklifts powered by fuel cells currently in use across the United States. These forklifts operate in warehouses and distribution centers in over 40 states, including major facilities of Amazon and Walmart. Additionally, several fuel cell buses are either in operation or planned for deployment in states like Ohio, Michigan, Illinois, Massachusetts, and California. The availability of consumer hydrogen refueling stations is on the rise worldwide.
In Quebec, Toyota and Honda are collaborating with the government to establish hydrogen infrastructure in Montreal this year. Surprisingly, even oil-rich Saudi Arabia is gearing up to open its first hydrogen station. Toyota, one of the largest automakers globally, leads the charge in the United States consumer market for hydrogen fuel cell cars. Their main model, a hydrogen fuel cell-powered family car, has garnered the attention of over 5,000 buyers since its launch in 2015. According to Russ Koble, a spokesperson from Toyota's Environmental and Advanced Technology Group, the company anticipates a surge in sales as more hydrogen fueling stations become operational. However, with Elon Musk's recent announcement, Toyota is concerned that the competition will become intense. According to Toyota, the adaptability of hydrogen fuel cell technology has led to its exploration of two different applications for California feasibility studies, an area Elon Musk is also interested in, semi-trailer trucks. Honda has also shown significant commitment to hydrogen. Natalie Kumaratan, a spokesperson for Honda, mentioned that there are currently nearly 1,100 Honda Clarity fuel cell vehicles on American roads. Honda exclusively offers the Clarity fuel cell for lease in California while offering battery electric and hybrid versions for lease and sale. The challenges of hydrogen vehicles, amidst the excitement surrounding hydrogen fuel cell technology's potential, the journey to widespread adoption encounters significant obstacles. Infrastructure limitations cited by the United States government pose another significant hurdle, casting doubts on the current ability of infrastructure to support widespread fuel cell vehicle adoption. The competitive landscape further complicates hydrogen's path in the transportation sector. Green hydrogen derived from renewable sources competes not only with traditional fossil fuel-based hydrogen but also with other conventional fuels like petrol, diesel, and electricity. Let us know your opinion in the comments below.